Okay, welcome back to um, Unit 5, Day 9 Practice. Um, we're going to go over example 6 together. This will be the last one we go over together before you try the CFUs. So, first step is always the same. We're going to divide this up into our anions and uh, cations and anions. And that just helps me keep track when I go to switch to form my products. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is um, go ahead and switch them. Now you may be wondering, like, how do I know what part is the cation, what part is the anion? The main thing is for cations, that, that will be the thing that's written first, and it will be a metal, something that you found on the left side of the periodic table, or it will be NH4. Right, so that's the only exam other example besides the metal. So if I see aluminum, I know that that's a metal. The rest of it is are non-metal, so that's my anion. Potassium K is my metal, and the rest of it is non-metal, so those are my anions. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch them. Switch the first and the last. So ALOH. I'm leaving myself a little bit room in between them just because I need to know if this is the correct formula or not. And then switch the inner ones, writing the potassium first, of course. K NO3, giving myself a little room there. Okay, so now what I need to do is figure out the um, if these are the correct formulas after I form my product. So aluminum has a common charge of plus three. I know that because it's in group 13. So aluminum is plus three. Can I write that above it? And hydroxide is a polyatomic, so I gotta look in the chart here, see if I can find it. No, it's in here somewhere. Where are you? There you go. Okay, hydroxide. Here you go. And it has a minus one charge. All right, so is this the correct formula? No, it's not, right? Because this has a plus three charge and it has a minus one charge. If you add those two charges together, they do not equal zero. So I have to correct this formula. All right, so to correct the formula, what I'm going to do is I need to figure out, well, what do I need more of, first of all? I need more hydroxides and in total I'm going to need three of them right because I need to I want the overall charge to equal zero and the only way the overall charge here is going to equal zero is if I have three of them okay now there is a shortcut video that I'm going to that I'm going to link as well it's called like the crisscross method which you can use um, but this but doing mental math works just as well so if you want to see the shortcut or the crisscross method you can all right so we've got um, a plus three charge and then a minus one charge to get them to be uh, real overall charge to be zero, I need three hydroxides. Now notice that because it's a polyatomic, if you have more than one, make sure you put parentheses around it um, to, and then the subscript outside that parentheses. So since I have three hydroxides, I put it in parentheses and a three on the outside. All right, so now this formula is correct. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for potassium nitrate. Potassium K is in group one. It has a plus one charge, so that's plus one. Nitrate is a polyatomic, so you gotta look in the table for the polyatomics. It has a minus one. All right, so now we have the correct formula for this. this we didn't have to do anything with this. So K and O3, perfect, all right? So um, this is it for the example videos. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna try these CFUs. I just modified that there, and I'm going to reveal to you um, the answer momentarily. All right, so if you haven't, make sure you've paused the video and tried the CFUs on your own before looking at the answers. All right, so here are the answers to the CFUs, and I have to change the first one since I changed it um, on your handout. So let me just go ahead and quickly change that. That for, uh, this becomes okay. So these are the correct answers now for all of your CFUs. You can check them out. Okay, in a separate video, I'll go over how we got these answers. So for this video, it's just checking the answers. 
All right, that's it for this video. Have a quality day.